African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC-3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the Special Military Operation on the 11th of August, 2024. Units of the North Group of Forces in the Volchensk and Lipsov directions inflicted losses on the manpower and equipment of the 22nd Mechanized and 82nd Airborne Assault Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine in the areas of the settlements of Odnorobovka and Kazakia Lopan in the Kharkiv region. The enemy's losses amounted to 190 servicemen, two tanks, an infantry fighting vehicle, an armored personnel carrier, seven armored combat vehicles, two cars, a Croatian RAKSA-12 122mm multiple launch rocket system. Production, three 122mm howitzers D-30. The ammunition depot was destroyed. During the day, active actions by units of the North Group of Forces and the approaching reserves, strikes by Army aviation and unmanned aerial vehicles, and artillery fire in the areas of the settlements of Talpino, Zuravli, and Abshi Kalidas prevented attempts by enemy mobile groups to break through deep into Russian territory on armored vehicles. Four armored personnel carriers were destroyed, including three U.S.-made striker armored personnel carriers, seven armored combat vehicles, and two cars. As a result of missile strikes and artillery fire on concentrations of manpower and equipment of units of the 22nd, 41st, 115th Mechanized, 80th and 82nd Airborne Assault Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces in the areas of Staraya Sorognitsa, Kornivo, Sudza, and Borki, the enemy lost 35 servicemen, 5 tanks, 4 combat armored vehicles, and 3 cars. An attempt by the Ukrainian Armed Forces to break through to the Bolovsky district of the Kursk region has been thwarted. In the areas of the settlements of Ozerki and Ivanovsky, Army aviation destroyed two tanks, an armored combat vehicle, a field artillery gun, and two vehicles with ammunition. A strike by an Iskander M operational tactical missile system destroyed a self-propelled launch vehicle of the Buk M-1 anti-aircraft missile system in the Lubomovka area. In the area of the city of Lebanon in the Sumi region, three launchers were hit and the N-slash MPQ-65 radar station of the U.S.-made Patriot anti-aircraft missile system was destroyed. Aviation and missile forces attacked the reserves of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Sumi region. Units of the West Group of Forces occupied more advantageous lines and positions, defeated the formations of the 66th Mechanized. 77th Airmobile Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the 117th Territorial Defense Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Makievka, Stelmakovka of the Luhansk People's Republic and Torskoy of the Donetsk People's Republic. Over the past 24 hours, two counterattacks by assault groups of the 1st National Guard Brigade have been repelled. The enemy lost more than 520 servicemen, a tank, two Kozak combat armored vehicles and five cars. During the counter-battery battle, the following were destroyed, a 155mm FH-70 howitzer made in Great Britain, a 152mm D-20 gun, two 122mm D-30 howitzers, a 105mm L-119 howitzer made in Great Britain, as well as an N-slash TPQ-36 counter-battery radar made in the USA. In addition, two electronic warfare stations were destroyed. Kortitsa and Noda, as well as two ammunition depots. Units of the Southern Group of Forces improved their tactical position, inflicted losses on the manpower and equipment of the 150th Mechanized, 10th Mountain Assault Brigades and the 114th Territorial Defense Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Rozovka, Periesnoy, and Karovo of the Donetsk People's Republic. The Ukrainian armed forces lost up to 385 servicemen, an infantry fighting vehicle, and three vehicles. During the counter-battery fire, the following were destroyed, a 155mm FH-70 howitzer made in the UK, a 155mm M198 howitzer made in the US, two 152mm D-20 guns, 
a 152 mm Stabi howitzer, a 122 mm Gvozdika self-propelled artillery unit, a 105 mm M119 gun made in the U.S., and an electronic warfare station. Two ammunition depots were destroyed. Units of the center group of forces occupied more advantageous positions, inflicted defeat on the formations of the 31st, 32nd, 100th, 117th Mechanized Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the 14th National Guard Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Vazvezenka, Toritsk, Grodovka, and Miraliabovka of the Donetsk People's Republic. Three counterattacks by assault groups of the 142nd Infantry Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the Light Assault Brigade of the National Police of Ukraine were repelled. The enemy's losses amounted to 425 troops, two infantry fighting vehicles, including one U.S.-made Bradley, a Kozak armored fighting vehicle, four cars, a U.S.-made 155mm howitzer M777, a U.S.-made 155mm self-propelled artillery unit Paladin, a 152mm howitzer M2B, a 152mm gun D20, a 122mm howitzer D30, and a 100mm gun wrapper. Units of the East Force Group improved their position along the front line, inflicted losses on the manpower and equipment of the 72nd Mechanized Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the 129th Territorial Defense Brigade, in the areas of the settlements of Vadianoi and Novo Cheritovatoi of the Donetsk People's Republic. The Ukrainian Armed Forces lost up to 110 servicemen, 5 vehicles, a 152mm D-20 gun and an electronic warfare station. Units of the Dnieper Group of Forces inflicted defeat on formations of the 41st Infantry and 44th Airmobile Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces in the areas of the settlements of Orkov and Novodanilovka, in the Zaporizhia region. The Ukrainian Armed Forces lost over 70 servicemen, 14 vehicles, a U.S.-made 155mm howitzer M777, a U.S.-made and slash TPQ-50 counter-battery radar, and an enclave electronic warfare station. Three ammunition depots were destroyed. Operational tactical aviation, unmanned aerial vehicles, missile forces, and artillery of the Russian Armed Forces groups hit three launchers and destroyed the and slash MPQ-65 radar station of the Patriot anti-aircraft missile system, manufactured in the USA. In addition, the ammunition depot of the Operational Tactical Group Donetsk and concentrations of enemy manpower and military equipment in 156 districts were damaged. Air defense systems shot down, for Tachkiyu tactical missiles, a French-made hammer guided air bomb, and 15 U.S.-made Mars rockets, and Czech-made Vampire, as well as 71 unmanned aerial vehicles, 30 of which were outside the Special Military Operations Zone. In total, since the beginning of the special military operation, the following have been destroyed, 637 aircraft, 278 helicopters, 29,731 unmanned aerial vehicles, 566 anti-aircraft missile systems, 17,029 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 1,400 multiple launch rocket systems, 13,113 field artillery pieces and mortars, 24,624 units of special military vehicles. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.